welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am trying my hand at some DIY stuff. And we actually are gonna try to make a faux fireplace. So I initially saw the idea on Pinterest and I knew when we were moving to Japan that our housing would not have a fireplace. And I love fireplaces. I like the decorations that you can do on them and hang stockings from them. So I wanted to make sure that we had a fireplace of some sort. On Pinterest, I saw many different ways on how to make them. And I am not a carpenter. I don't know how to build things just out of nothing with wood. And so my best option I thought was this video that I saw that someone took like a frame. I think it was actually a frame. They took a frame and made it into a faux fireplace. So that was my idea. That's where I got it from. And that kind of set everything into motion for this. Say something, boo. We going in. What do you like about it? That it kind of looks like a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Take this off. And the mirror out. The price on it. Oh, it has that price tag with the yellow stick on it. I don't see it. What's that? Yeah. As you can see, we found that cool mirror. It had some wrought iron and legs on it, and we actually had to take off the legs and the wrought iron just so we can fit it into our car. Uh, but once we took those off, it fit, and it was just a mirror. Once we got it home, we decided not to actually start the project until we actually got to Japan. So we had the movers pack it up and ship it. We had to wait till all of our household goods arrived in order for us to actually start the project. So we were here in Japan for about maybe a month and a half before we could even start. When we actually got the mirror, we decided to take the mirror out and the backing of the mirror. So it just looks like a frame, it didn't have anything in the center. Once we got the mirror and the backing out, we were finally ready to begin our project. So this is the fireplace or the faux fireplace that we're gonna redo. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and sand this and paint it, so hopefully it comes out okay. We don't know if we're gonna cut the bottom off yet. We might just leave it for now. So, <laughs> sanding by hand did not work. It took way too long to even do like the top, like maybe one or two little areas and we got tired and I was annoyed of it. So, what did we do, Justin? We got a power sander. Yeah, so we got a power sander. So this is what we've done so far. So this part. This is the top part that we have sanded. Obviously it's a different color than this part. So we've only done this part and it took, it took like an hour or something, right? Something like that. Like really long time and I was annoyed and getting grumpy because it was hot and I was sweating. <laughs> It just took a long time to do this, so we are thinking that power sander will help with like getting most of it done quickly, and then we can go back with a hand sanding the little parts because hand sanding took a long time. So turns out Santa's a little loud. <laughs> And it's eight o'clock right now, and I just feel bad that our neighbors might hear it, and they probably have babies and sleeping. So we're gonna wait until the morning, or at least tomorrow during the day, to try out the sander. We did a little bit of sanding. Or we being Justin, <laughs> he did a little bit of sanding. But anyways, we're gonna try in the morning. Hopefully we get it done tomorrow. Okay, we are back the next day, and it's three four o'clock i don't know but we're trying to get the sanding done before the sun goes down so hopefully we can get that done but yeah so let's get started so once we were finally done sanding the whole entire frame we decided to spray paint a base layer of white paint over the whole thing Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice. So we're now spray painting the base layer of the fireplace on uh, just a white. And then we're gonna let that dry and then we'll go back over it and hopefully get an actual white fireplace mantle thing. <laughs> I feel like I need to go back to my tagging days. J Money, back on the streets. The streets oh, of Lubbock. <laughs> After the base layer of white paint was actually dried, I decided that I wanted the faux fireplace to actually look like a real fireplace. I wanted it to look 3D and have a little bit of depth to it. So we decided to build a frame for it and we used some 2x6s to do that. Hey guys, so trying to put together the frame on the back side of our mirror. It's gonna turn into our fireplace. I thought I looked out, found uh, screws that fit perfectly into the brackets we bought, uh, cause I forgot to buy screws, didn't really think about it. Perfect size, perfect length, perfect thread. Uh, they go into, let me see if I can flip it. They go into the wood just fine. So it goes into the wood through the bracket just fine, but gone through a few of them now and you just end up shearing the fucking head right off of them. Let me put it down here. Maybe it'll, it's my boob, but focus a little bit better on it. Shears the head right off of them. So gonna take a pause, have to go buy some new screws later whenever we uh, go back into town. So sorry, Copes, no more supervising or ignoring me. Sorry, bud. Time to go back inside continue this later. After Justin finished constructing the frame, he actually put two two by sixes vertically on the inside of the opened mirror part and then one two by six going across the bottom. And then it was time to finish painting the whole thing white. What's up guys? It's uh, 5.45 on a Saturday. I wanted to give you all a little status update. Uh, working on painting the fireplace so we can put it together, stain the top, put it inside. Uh, Ashley is currently napping, so I don't know if she's doing some Mr. Miyagi type shit or she's just really tired right now. Either way, uh, pretty boring, so I'm not gonna show you literally watching paint dry because that would bore y'all, but status update coming along painting all of that white going over the spray paint we did I was good first coat we thought maybe we'd be able to keep it but uh start turning a little bit blue I don't know I don't speak Japanese so can't tell if maybe the bottle said it turned blue or we didn't shake it up well enough or the tarp that we put it on the color seep through either way uh Kobe and I we're out here and we'll show you another update when we get closer to done say bye Kobe Good oh boy. Say hi, Ashley. Hi. She brought her own paintbrush. It's all messed up. No more Mr. Miyagi. Why are you Mr. Miyagi? She's now the grasshopper. What? After we were finished painting the frame white, it was time to stain the mantle. So we decided to stain it a little bit of a darker color since we felt that would fit in better with our decor. <laughs> All right, Ashley, what do you think? I don't like it. Yeah, we went a little darker than we meant. Hopefully it dries a little bit lighter. I don't like the bottom. Why? It's so dark in areas. Well, I think it looks darker now, and the top looked darker earlier, so I think it's lightening as it dries up. You think? Yeah. Yep. So I definitely thought the dark, the top looked a lot darker at first. So now that everything was painted and stained, it was time to do the finishing touches. So what we actually did is we took the old backing from the mirror and stapled it onto the back of our new fireplace. That way we had a new backing and you couldn't just see directly to the wall on the fireplace opening. Okay, so we have the fireplace in here and we put the backing on of the fireplace and Justin's just 
as a staple gun. Yay, let's see what it looks like standing up. Cool, now we just gotta put the mantle part on top. And then brick the inside. And then yeah, we're gonna brick the inside. So now we're screwing the mantle from the wall. I don't know if you can see what he's doing. We're almost finished. We got this faux brick from Homac out here in Japan. Uh, it came with three sheets, so everything is in Japanese. I think we only need two. I came with three, but I think we only need two. Um, they do stick, so I'm having to take off the back. But we're gonna go ahead and get that in here. Okay. Excuse me. So now I'm gonna measure this guy to fit. Oh heck, it's gonna have a seam. It's not gonna match. Do I need to cut out? I didn't think about this. I should have cut it. You should have cut it? Yeah, so like the bricks fit into each other. Uh, I didn't think about that. Hold on. Okay. I need to figure this out. Okay, so there's no way to get the half bricks. That's what I'm saying. I should have cut them so yeah. that they fit onto each other. Yeah. I wonder if I can still cut them now. Probably. Okay. I'm gonna have to do that. I'll be back. <laughs> After we finished cutting and fitting the brick, this is what it looks like. So here is the finished product, you guys. We finally finished the fireplace. So we just got a piece of wood and kind of beat it up with like different like a screwdriver and like a hammer and then we stained it and so that's this the top part of the mantle yeah, that's not what it's gonna finish as right yeah so. so this is just what we did for now because the mantle that we did want to get was pretty thick and home depot couldn't cut it for us <laughs> <laughs> so when we get back to the states we're eventually going to get a thicker mantle so it'll be better it'll be thicker but this is looks, looks good, good though. For now, yeah so and so it is actually like a, basically a shelf. We just connected it to the wall with just shelf brackets, right? Yeah. So, and then the, it's resting right under, or the mantle piece, not mantle, what is this part? The fireplace? Because yeah. <laughs> this is the mantle, right? Yeah. So this is just an old um, vanity mirror from like a dresser thing. So we took out the mirror and sanded and painted it. It's painted white. And then we just built the back of it, which is a bunch of like two by fours. Uh, yeah, two by, two sixes. by sixes, yeah. So just a bunch of two by sixes, um, just going back and then we put a backing to it. So then we added this faux brick. It's just like a foamy stick on faux brick that we found at home at. Then we just got some candles to put in there. And then we'll figure out what we're doing at the top yet. We haven't exactly figured it out, but we'll decorate it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Is there things that you would like to change about it? Make sure to like this video, you know, like for Kobe. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. So back in the States, we didn't have a fireplace, but I did want something or some type of fireplace. You didn't have a fireplace. We had a fireplace. Where was there a fireplace? In the middle of the room. Was that a fireplace? Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Decor. <laughs> I'm so fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it gone? It's not wine. It I'm not moving. Oh, there it goes. It's the final countdown. Okay, what am I talking about? This is why you don't record after date night with your husband and you've been drinking like wines forever. Bring Kobe to me. Hi, good boys. Come to mama. Oh, heck. Like for Kobe. Kobe, did you like it? Did you like the new fireplace? You got a place to hang out in front of now? Yeah, it is a good boy. You like it. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs>